Hello and welcome to my Toge Moment series. I'm your host, Mr. Not So Good. And if you're new around here, basically what this series is, is it's me commentating and talking about Toge racing. And what Toge racing is, is it's, it's racing down a mountain pass. It translates to mountain pass in English. And without further ado, let's get on with the first race and we're going to talk more about Toge. This guy is named NF4. I met this guy whenever I was just figuring out the wheel and, and learning how to navigate it. And uh, he's kind of like my mentor. He's like the guy that I will race to judge my personal progression and how my skill is going. He's an extremely talented driver. Don't let this race fool you. This was his warm-up lap and I'm like, I'm like three hours in this session. So I am well past warmed up. This is his first race on and just look at how he's whittling me down. I, I'm doing a pretty decent job staying on, on my marks the best I can of braking at the most optimal time, coming in wide, apexing as late as possible to get on power, maximizing this nice, healthy little straight that I am definitely going to use and I'm not going to feel guilty about flooring it and using my car because this guy is freaking fast. I got to stay on my toes. As I get an advantage, he did come into that hairpin a little wide so that gives me a better drive, but I return the favor right back to him. And so now we literally are, he's exactly where he was a moment ago. And like, just like how I was talking about before, you're, you're going to realize me and the, well, I, I'm not doing it as much because I'm a novice driver. But you're, you're going to notice that whenever we rotate the car around first and then into the corner, we magically go a lot faster. You're going to see me use a dirt here to get a little sideways. And you can see my inexperience in this clip this one's slightly older i'm still very inexperienced i've i've just now gotten adequate enough to post myself on youtube and actually feel like my, my content is quality and entertaining speaking of which if you had made it this far in the video please do consider subscribing or at least liking it helps me out so freaking much being a smaller channel coming into this very very fast turn i did a decent job at keeping my car under the traction as we're coming into another little fast power section trying to get through here as quickly as possible using all of my tires grip you see me ro doing the thing where you rotate the car and floor it to go faster which which in in all sense of logic is slower but no not in toge racing and that's what makes it so freaking exhilarating as i slam it into the wall making a huge mistake now this is one of the largest sweepers i've ever driven you're gonna see me out right here i'm trying to rotate the car to try and drive with the weird with the rear and it just put me out outside leaving the door wide open for, the, for NF4 but luckily he didn't have the drive to get around me on the outside keeping myself calm cool and collected now here pretty soon I do make a pretty massive mistake I just forgot about turning I, I just gave up on that turn I didn't like it I wasn't feeling it but now I'm back in the race I'm on him now I'm like a bull that sees red I'm gonna get this freaking pass back mark my words as I get a little poorer at entry into this corner doing my best. NF4 is probably the, the best guy to be following around here. As I do a nice little four-wheel drift, I did drive it a little shallow. Could have been faster, but it wasn't too terribly slow as I'm still in fighting distance. He hops up on the curb, costing him time, but I just, you know, do a talk me guard real smack. It's legal. Talk me do it. I can do it too. I just did it a little harder. It's, it's fine. It's, it, it's, it's okay. As I'm doing my best to close this gap, and we are, I'm honestly doing, I feel like I'm doing a pretty decent job against this dude. And this is like, this is the only race I've ever won as we do the exact same thing, hopping up on the curb. We rotate it in. Yeah, this is the only battle I've won against him. And I think this is the end right here where he gets up into the wall and I get another little bit of time, which I am so grateful I got that time. Perfectly hugging it around that apex, getting a little bit more time. Now I am in striking distance. This race is mine to win as I take a more better line, setting up to take the late apex, getting on power slightly earlier than 8.6, using all that power to my advantage. I am right there. I am in his draft. We are hauling a lot of speed around this little king right here. We are absolutely pinned, rotating the car on the brakes, maximizing every bit of traction as you see me locking only one tire up. Here is one of the final bends as I go inside. I get collected on the guardrail and he gets into the wall and I gracefully drive to victory. By the way, where the asphalt changes color, that's the finish line. And I'm going to do a nice little boom. Okay, now we are back on Tsubaki. And in this clip, you're, you're going to see me 
on the attack. This is a lot more recent clip, so my so my driving is a bit more polished in this one. But I'm out for blood. I am faster than this guy up here. He is still a, a really decent driver. We're all learning out here. But you know, I might, I may or may not be exploiting this guy for content. But you know, uh, that's uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's all it's all in good fun. As we come into this nice little break is done, I do do a nice tidy job. Watch the front tires. Look at this technique. Oh, it's just on the limit of traction. Any more braking force, I would have understeered. Here we go. He bumps into the wall, and that's going to open the door for me as I get a rough little bounce. I could have lost so much more time through there, but be barely keeping it together. Boom. Here we are coming back up into this sketchy hairpin-like sweeper. Here we go, very fast. I have a lot better drive now. You're gonna see a group of, of MX-5 Miatas. That is my target. I'm out for blood. I'm gonna freaking get these guys. They get a nice little braking zone, maximizing their power, slight little lift over the crest to keep the rear end down. Here we are again. I'm gonna make a mistake right here. I'm gonna rotate the car, or I'm gonna get into the wall, and it's gonna make me get into this outside wall, and luckily he was not in striking distance, so I can pull it back together as I am on my mark doing everything I can. You can see me working the throttle. Here we are going to rotate it around. Now this is one I love this corner so much. You can get on power so early as I go for the forbidden gutter gap technique. Somehow miraculously pulling it off as I'm getting narrowly so close to that guardrail. Here we are again. A very very fast kink. Coming around here to this sketchy tree in the road. This is my signature four wheel drift into this. Oh, it's so beautiful using all, of, all four bits of rubber on the road, doing everything I can. Coming up to this very, very fast hairpin that is in the MX 5s favor. But here we are coming into my favor, which is a cool quick straight on the brakes, doing a very clean job navigating this. This is a very, very tricky spot. Really easy to get past right there if you're not paying attention. Now, if you do see those headlights are getting closer and closer to me, which is a do bit is a bit alarming, where I do a masterful toe gauge drift, breaking the laws of physics, accelerating while sideways. Here we are again, coming up. My braking point is going to be that white sign. Brake just before it. And get the apex back onto this one. Don't drop a tire. Break. This one's super sketchy. It's hard to get that one right. And I'm going to make a move on this Miata. Now watch on the right. You're going to see a brown sign. That's my braking zone. Boom, right there. Breaking a touch too late. Driving it deep, but I feel like if I can bring this together, I'll have it. And I have the power. I have the exit. I close the door on them. That's it. I got my target. I passed one of the MX-5s. If I was cleaner, there's still a room for improvement. And uh, trust me, baby, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Ain't no doubt in my mind. And we're going to go ahead and bring it on to the next race. Now, this one, I just decided to change it up a little bit. This is from a live recording. This isn't from the replay editor. This is from OBS. I wanted to show you all my HUD and how I operate. I, I've i never seen anyone else put the driver radar right in the middle of the screen. Um, it, it's a double-edged sword because you don't have to glance around to figure out where they are. But then again, it's always glaring you right there in your face that you know they're behind you. But this is a super, super tough challenge. I'm in a, I'm in the critical spot where I'm on the attack and I'm on the defense. But like I said earlier, my defense is my speed. So all I have to do is keep a solid pace up and this guy cannot get around me. As long as I just keep it clean, keep it tidy, and I stay under my own power as I get into a minor mistake. You're going to see a bunch of minor mistakes in this little run. I got heck of lucky as I'm pulling out two minor mistakes. I got a little little bump draft right there helping me out. I went a little deep into this hairpin. I got my traction together. I barely, I, I closed the door just enough to keep him from being alongside me, which I think if he did right there, I would have definitely lost this race. Uh, he has cut my balls to double zero. Me and this guy, we hit it off pretty good. I, I like this guy. He's he's pretty good driver. We are like identically matched. We are very evenly skilled levels. And when you find someone that's like the same level as you, and like as far as drivability, it's so fun to just drive for hours. The Red Arc 7 behind me is a lot faster than me. I'm basically blocking them this whole entire run, but that's what I'm talking about, how speed is your defense. If you can keep that slight pace up, they're not going to get around you, and you just drive like you're not there. Just just drive like you're not there. That's all you have to do. As Cut My Balls comes into a little wide, as you're going to see me reel the ground back in from that tiny little mistake. 
and I'm gonna nail this section perfectly and you're gonna see me pull that ground back is beating the love limit up right here because it's it's not worth it to go up to three it's it's you might as well just beat the limiter up in second and just get ready to break as we're coming into a very very technical area I do get into a little trouble but watch how I handle this I just downshift the two and freaking floor it just like how I was talking about they can't get around you you just keep your pace up now making all these little tiny mistakes and errors is hurting me a lot because if I didn't make these mistakes I'd probably be around them right now but he was also making mistakes as we see a little bit of lag coming through off of his end which is just part of racing I do get into the wall a little bit gutter I didn't want to I wanted to use that grass line it just saves time but it's just risky it's a risky line to take and here we come on this very awkward hairpin rotating a bit too early but staying on the power, somehow getting a better exit than the Red Arc 7. I think he had to check up. I'm going to go for a move. I have my nose on him, but my critical mistake is I didn't use all that road he gave me on the entry of that corner. You can roll the video back and you'll see what I'm talking about. As we're coming into a very tricky section, I got off the throttle a lot because it's really easy to kill a man through here. And I'm not trying to have any uh, main solar charges on my case. You know, I'm just out here trying to make it on YouTube. Yeah, you know, you know. I'm just like trying to make it on YouTube, man. Coming in through here, one of my another one of my favorite turns. I got a horrible setup, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do my absolute best with it. Keeping the red arc seven at bay, just trying to real cut my balls in. <laughs> His name is so hilarious to me. Little the infamous tree in the road. Here's my four wheel drive drift technique from my perspective as we're coming around this nice little hairpin as you can see cut my balls this entire time dude is basically sideways this car hasn't been straight around a single one of these corners but yet somehow he still is just as fast as me which further reinforces my statement that makes toge racing such an adverse place to refine your skills and drive nothing will ever compare to the thrills and the adrenaline rush and the rewarding feelings you get from doing an absolutely crazy run down these narrow mountain roads. As we're coming up into my braking zone, breaking at the sign, trying to reel it back in on cut my balls. I did a horrible job around there and I really hope YouTube doesn't flag my video for saying cut my balls a lot. But we're gonna see what happens. It's just the man's name, okay? It's just the man's name. Breaking at that brown sign trying to clean it up keep it clean he does make a mistake I'm gonna try and capitalize keeping it forward helping him up into the going straight if I didn't help him there he's probably gonna spin out the fact that I was there helping a bro out kept him on the road and uh, so the finish line is coming up really close watch the timestamp so that's the finish line so in my brain I'm done racing but I should have just went around him and I could have passed him before the finish, but here we are coming up. We, we both never drive this into the track, so I just smashed the wall. Coming around through here, this little turn is so much fun. A quick little kink, who's going to be the first one off the side of the road? I come through, he flies off, doing the corkscrew, crazy spin, and that's going to be the end. Thank you all so much for watching, and goodbye. I have a Discord channel that is open to anyone that stays to the end of my videos. I'm in there quite frequently. I'm trying to make it more active. If you want to interact with me and just have a conversation, I love interacting with my subscribers and people that watch my content. It's so much fun, and I play games all the time. I play Elden Ring and stuff. Hop in. We'll play, the, we'll play a game together. I just, come on, let's be a community, man. Let's, let's make something great. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and big shout out to my artist at Example on YouTube for making all the music on my channel. I wouldn't be where I'm at. I, I wouldn't be where I'm at now without the people that do support me, and it's so crazy having 500 people that are subscribed to me, dude. Crap, anyway, enough talking. Um, um, bye-bye. Bye-bye.